hi everyone welcome back to the channel I'm pleased to say I'm nice and warm in what was the most brutal weather conditions I've ever experienced in over 25 years of going outdoors the conditions were absolutely biblical and the winds are some of the strongest I've ever experienced in my life um, it's not often I make an intro such as this I thought it was important to give some context and that it would be fair to explain exactly what went wrong and whose fault it was hint you're looking at him now um, as with most things, human error plays a massive part when things go wrong and in this case uh, it was no different. I decided to stretch a piece of equipment beyond its limitations. Over the past couple of months people have messaged me and said they've used the tent I initially used, the Nordisk Telemark 2.2 lightweight. People have messaged me to say it's withstood some pretty testing conditions. Now I did look at the forecast prior, I saw 70 mile an hour plus winds. The MWIS forecast listed them as hurricane force at times, so I think I was expecting a little bit too much from my equipment. Just another disclaimer, I think current life events for me at the moment have possibly um, led me to become a little bit more flippant with regard to taking risks and that may have played some part in my decision making yesterday. I was thinking about just bringing a true four season mountaineering tent, luckily I had one in the boot which was going to be used for today and I had to change my plans at short notice as you will see in the video. In short, the Telemark 2.2 is designed for two to three season conditions. It is not in any way designed to withstand the winds and the weather conditions of Storm Arwen. It's not designed for that. I was stupid, I took the tent out and I thought it'd be okay if I found some sheltered ground. Did find a bit of shelter, but even then, the gusts were absolutely horrendous and one particular one when I was in the tent with the rucksack not long after it pitched almost took the tent off the ground with me inside and I'm not lightweight and neither is my rucksack the winds were absolutely ferocious in short the pole has snapped it's not a faulty pole it's not a faulty tent it's not designed for those conditions so yeah I was stupid I made some bad decisions luckily I got away with it I'd just like to point out that I have been going outdoors for 25 plus years and how to navigate, I had a map, compass, I had spare clothing, all the necessary measures, people knew where I was, I'd left grid references with people, so I knew, even if that had happened at three or four o'clock in the morning, whilst it wouldn't have been pleasant, I had the equipment and the skills and the knowledge to get myself off the hill safely without unnecessarily exposing others to danger or risk. So a big disclaimer, this video isn't meant to glamorise risk taking, I don't want to encourage it, do not take risks in the mountains, especially at this time of year, it's not big, it's not clever, I just paid the price for what was a foolhardy decision on my part, and now I'm going to have to source a new pole from a tent. If you're going out in winter, be prepared, have all the kit, have people know where you are, and make sure that all your gear is designed for the conditions that you are due to experience. I wasn't sure whether to leave the comments open in this video, but after I've thought about it, at the end of the day, it was my fault. I've held my hands up to that. And at the end of the day, if it encourages or prevents other people from not placing themselves into unnecessary danger or taking unnecessary risks, that can only be a good thing. Enjoy the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Here at the Met Office, we have issued a rare red weather warning. We don't issue these lightly and they're pretty infrequent. So when we have a red one in force, you know that the weather's going to be pretty extreme. All, of course, thanks to the storm Arwen, the storm we named yesterday. Now the Welcome back to the channel and thank you for clicking on this video. We're in the Lake District National Park and we're in for a gruelling night and a superb test of the Nordis Telemark 2.2 lightweight tent. We some severe weather forecast with 70 mile an hour plus winds, wind chill to minus 20, snow forecast and it's going to be a pretty gruelling test of the gear. Got quite a heavy rucksack on, the wind already. It's 
picking up fairly significantly so yeah it's a big storm moving down from Scotland and there's some snow and ice expected just a disclaimer if you're gonna come out in weather like this make sure you know what you're doing and more importantly let people know where you're going uh, this is gonna be a bit of a tough one but friends and family know where I'm gonna be so just take the basic safety precautions and have the correct gear for the conditions I want to stop talking and make my way up to the ridge I'm going to have to find somewhere with a little bit of shelter and just exercise a little bit of caution on this one so aside from what's to come it's a lovely day in the Lake District National Park pitched a couple of hairy moments when I'm trying to get the pole up and there's strong gusts coming in the trick is to get it up uh, and guide out as quickly as possible I'm not too far I know exactly where I need to be to, to get off if it all goes horribly wrong um, and I think it should be okay I'm in a relative depression so I've got you know a little bit of top cover there off that ground but it's not too bad We'll see how it goes. Just keep checking the guys. I've had to put a bit of a knot in these because it was slipping through, but you know, just a bit, bit of back pressure into the wind and it should be okay. Let's get in and I'm coming down. Well, that's it's a bit better. It's uh, yeah. Here's my views. There'll be people watching this that says I'm a fool for, for coming out in, in these predicted conditions um, and I'm potentially putting other people in danger. Uh, I'm not because, you know, I, I'm fully prepared. I've got, I've got everything. I've been going outdoors for 25 plus years. I've got map, compass. I know exactly where I am. I give them a grid reference to four separate people. Um, I've got emergency blanket, I've got correct clothing, I've got dry lays, I've got food, head torches, battery chargers. I've done everything I can to minimise and mitigate all risks. And obviously you can't, you know, um, get rid of every risk. But what you need to do is make a decision based on your abilities. Yeah, I know the conditions are going to be bad and they're going to get worse, but it's a, it's a calculated risk I've taken. And the ground here, it's not too steep. The terrain's not too difficult. And no matter what happens, uh, I'll be fine. Worst case scenario, the tent collapses. I'll just stay in it and just be like a bivvy bag and that'll be the safest option. I'll wait till it gets light again and then I'll, I'll get off the hill in the morning. But 
I'm quite happy with the risks I've taken um, on my own back it's calculated risks and it's going to be fine help Holes come out. It's game over. It's game over. We've got a snap pole. It's absolute catastrophic failure. And I don't want, luckily, it's not ripped the fabric, but. Packed away, everything's back in there. Sharp bit of the pole is, you know, pointing out. It's a real shame, but uh, you know, I wanted to try it out. It's probably going to go against me, and I'm going to get some flack. But uh, yeah, very ironic given what I was just saying on the last clip. But you know, you live and learn. I was thinking about bringing a full mountain tent. I'll speak to you in the car. Um, I don't think it's a reflection on the tent. I think I was maybe expecting too much. It was an experiment, possibly an expensive one. I've just been blown into this gate. Good job. Oh, literally, it's blown into that gate. Getting down. Some of these gusts must be over 80 miles an hour. That's uh is that I was planning on um I booked a pitch in Brothers Water for tomorrow. It's just not happening. If these are the gusts here, I don't think it's going to be much better lower down. I'll ring them and see what they say, but I might see if they can just change my book into another time. It's a, it's a lesson learned, I think for one reason or another. Some of the things I'm going through in life at the moment have made me a little bit flippant with regard to risks and decision making. So yeah, it's probably got something to do with it if I'm honest, but I'm going to leave it all in. You know, a lesson for others. I think it's time. I think it's time to get out of here. It did say hurricane force winds and I thought it's that a bit dramatic, but I don't know what it's got to be over to be classified as that. But yeah, this channel, you know, I do keep it real and that involves things which might attract some criticism but I'm least to put it out there not for a pat on the back hopefully to help others I'm gonna get back down to the car when I still can change of colour in the sky. It's all over. Well, um, we've sort of saved this one in that um, I've just phoned the Brothers Water in and asked if they could move my book in, sorry about the light, uh, to tonight. I was checked in there for tomorrow and good enough. I mean, there's not very many people there. They tell me the weather's a little bit better down at the campsite. so. I'm gonna get out of here. The gusts are really, really picking up. Um, yeah, it's not big, it's not clever. Um, I wasn't showboating, I wasn't showing off. I genuinely thought the tent would be okay, but I was taken aback by some of the gusts. You can probably hear it now. It's absolutely horrendous, but I was pretty taken aback at the strength of some of those. And there was this one particular gust. The tent almost came off the ground. I think if I wasn't in it, it probably would have been gone. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get down the Kirkstone Pass, still got a bit of light left, get the tent up, um, and I've brought the Hillerberg Solo, that's what I was gonna use tomorrow in the campsite. Um, so yeah, I mean, please don't take this as a reflection on the Telemark, it's poor choice of equipment for the conditions by me. I completely underestimated what it would be like up there. Let's get back down to Brothers Water.